What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the True Blue Podcast. I'm your host, Zach Sucardi. You can find me on Instagram at True Blue Podcast. Today is October 17th, Monday. Today is my friend Jerry's birthday. Shout out to him. Great friend. I stayed with him when I was last in New Jersey. Um, so, shout out to him. Um, yeah, it's very fall here. The coolness, the leaves and shit, and the Halloween decorations, they're in full effect. Um, and some of the, uh, yeah, some of the vibes. Uh, so I'm getting these updates for my fantasy football. Let me turn the shit off. Man, I'm a big fan of the silent mode on my phone. I mean, I look at my phone enough, so if I get a text, I'm just going to look. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to have it be buzzing and sounding and all this bullshit. Only in certain situations do I turn it on where I need to like hear something or wait for a call or whatever. But that's me. I'm all about the silent mode. But yeah, it's uh, it's a day and I'm here. I'm alive. We're going to go through and catch up a little bit since we last spoke. We'll talk some self-care. I'll read some poetry and share some music. You know the deal. Uh, so yeah, let's just get into it. Let's get some thunder going. Kind of like that for this month. Very Halloween-y. It's been raining here, which is kind of nice. It's nice when you live somewhere where you don't get depressed because it's raining. Such is the Southwest. Uh, I went bowling recently, and you know what? I have what they call bowling amnesia. I'll bowl a strike, and then I'll bowl a gutter ball. And then some more gutter balls, and then I'll bowl like a whatever. A ten, and then I'll bowl a strike. Bowling is fun, though, because, like, you you know, I don't take it seriously. It's just, like, a thing to do, you know? I went with my little brother who went to this place called Main Event here in town. And it's just, like, an arcade and a place where you can go bowl and shoot pool. And we did this thing. It was, like, a zip line thing where you walk across these mazes and shit. It was cool. We also played laser tag, which was fun. I, I kept yelling, no mercy. I'm like, no mercy, no mercy. And I guess I was the only one who was really like that hardcore. All the parents were like, ha, 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 ha. But it was still fun. You know, it was cool doing that. But yeah, bowling was the highlight. Bowling's fucking fun. And it's funny too when you like bowl next to someone else who like bowls a gutter ball and then they make fun of their friend. That's always funny. But yeah, it was cool. You know, went with my little brother and did, did that. That was cool. My dog got out. My sister, uh, I think, like, left the garage door open a little bit, and my dog got out, and it scared the fucking hell out of me. I went uh, walking around the neighborhood, like, yelling her name, and problem is she's deaf. So, my dog is named Lulu, and I call her beautiful, but I say it like this. I say, boffle, because when I say boffle really loud, she can kind of hear me. So, I'm literally walking around my sister's neighborhood going, boffle, boffle, really loud. And I went down a ways, like I went way down the block, down around the corner, and I'm yelling, and this woman goes, hey, did you lose your dog? I'm like, yeah, she's like, I think we have her. I'm like, she's like, what kind of dog? And I said, small poodle. She's like, yeah. And literally, and this may sound dramatic, but I like fell to my knees. And I wasn't crying, but I was like definitely teary-eyed. Because just like the thoughts of like me losing my dog, especially now with all these changes in my life lately, would have really fucked me up. So I am super motherfucking grateful for my dog and for these people. 
Her name, I believe, was Tiffany, and his name was maybe Chuck. But they're getting a Christmas card. I know the house, and that's all that matters. They're definitely getting a Christmas card. So uh, today I went out and I got my dog a dog tag. It's got her name on it. It's got fucking my phone number, my address, everything. Because before that, she was just like, you know, doing her thing. I didn't have a a leash or or, or a a collar or any of that shit. And I kind of liked it because she was just so, like, natural. But now that I'm moving and I'm in a new neighborhood, uh, you know what I'm saying? I can't can't have that happen. So it was uh, a blessing. So early gratitude list. I'm grateful for those good neighbors. I really am. I'm grateful for those good neighbors. And I'm grateful for my dog and what she provides me. She's so amazing. And I'm also grateful grateful for, uh, let's see. Um, hmm. What else am I grateful for? I'm grateful for my record collection. I know that sounds very, like, materialistic, but I am. I love my records. I love playing records. I love sitting down and looking through the album art. It's like a story in its own. If you hear that clanging, that's my sweet baby Lulu with her new dog tag. She's the best. She really is the fucking best. It goes God, Lulu. No, it goes God, my mom, Lulu, and then some other people. My mom even said, I bet sometimes it's Lulu after God. I'm like, it probably is, Mom, based on the day. But yeah, my mom's funny. I'm grateful for her, too. We had a a really great talk this week. My mom's an old schooler, and uh, she took a physical recently, and they were asking her if she's <laughs> if she's suicidal. <laughs> and my mom goes, there's only yes and no. There isn't a maybe option. <laughs> and, I mean, you have to know my mom and all this kind of thing, but I was talking to my mom, and it made me laugh, and my sister, I could hear her in the background laughing. And it was such a beautiful moment because we were just all, like, cracking up. My mom can be funny, and she's got a great sense of humor. A great sense of humor. Because I'm very funny. All me and my siblings are funny. All the Sucardis. My sister. Both my brothers. Myself. That's why I'm so curious if my dad was funny. You know. He he had to have been. He had to have a good sense of humor. You know. Because we're all so funny. Uh, but yeah. It was a great moment. Just talking to my mom. And having her just be so flippant and so fun with that. You know, she's definitely not suicidal. Let me just uh, let you know that. But she just is old school. So to be asked those questions is sort of funny for her. Um, But suicide is not funny. But you got to laugh at life, you know. got to laugh at it. And it was just, again, a great moment because I could hear my sister cracking up in the background. And I'm in her background on the phone cracking up. And my mom's in the middle of it. And it was just such a great moment. That's what life is so great. You just never know when those moments are going to happen. You know, it was the day before work. It was kind of like a blah morning. Uh, Excuse me. But that was fucking amazing. So that's my gratitude list. My vinyl records, my sweet baby Lulu, and those good neighbors down the block. Uh, What else? Um, Yeah, just chilling. Kind of depressed today. It's uh, just one of those days, you know. Just one of those days where depression is just sort of hanging around. And I got a lot done today. You know, I did. So there's a lot to be grateful for and to feel good about, but I don't know. Just kind of have this solemn kind of overall mood today. But, you know, I'm blessed to be depressed, if that makes any sense. Uh, Because I'm feeling feelings. And if I'm always feeling great or good, then I don't have something to compare it to. So... Yeah, I'm I'm grateful to feel all the ups and the downs and stuff, you know? Plus, what's cool is, like, when other people are depressed, I can relate to them and know what's up. Sometimes when you go through trials and life happens and it just feels like shit, you know, it's almost like you're, like, getting your badges. Like, imagine, like, a Boy Scout or whatever, and you're getting your, like, earning your badge. So that way, when someone else in your life is going through something, you can be there for them. So it's kind of like you're just going through it, you know, for them or for other people or for the greater good of love. So there you have it. That's uh, since we last spoke, just a couple things that's been going on with your boy here. 
Let's uh, let's get into the self care tip of the week. Let's hear some fucking thunder. Okay, so this is a great tip. Shout out to my friend from work, Audrey. She got me hooked up on this app. It's called I Am. Simple, I Am. And it's literally a daily affirmation app. Okay? It sounds kind of like, okay, so, you know, it sounds kind of lame. But they're so fucking good. They're so good. They're so, like, particular. And this is a great app because you can set the kind of affirmations that you're, like, looking to get every day. You can actually have them, like, like update to your phone like you could do like 25 times a day or whatever I do 15 because I really need some affirmations and it's awesome I know it sounds like well duh like why would you pay for that but it's so good oh by the way it's 20 bucks a year which again I know sounds like what the fuck paid apps but it's so worth it it really is and it, it makes my day so this is a great app it's called I am they have all kinds of categories like attract love, achieve goals, control stress, control stress and anxiety, think positive, boost your sexual confidence, feeling sassy, achieve self growth, po- body positivity, be confident, love yourself, self care, attract love, strengthen relationships, fall in love, grow as a couple, overcome toxic relationships, heal from heartbreak, find your happiness, law of attraction, think positive, practice gratitude, start a new beginning, succeed in a career, hustling. Succeed at school, grow your business, manifest wealth, navigate grief, fight depression, stop overthinking, overcome hard times, find calm, reclaim inner peace, handle panic attacks, fall asleep, start healing, start start healing journey, control stress and anxiety. And again, these are just the different topics that you can get daily affirmations on. Find motivation, practice phase, connect with the universe, start your day, focus on your health. Life with chronic pain. Stop smoking. Conquer addiction. These are good. Self-care, fitness. Inspiring questions, motivational quotes. Focus on your family. Just for kids. Enjoying your pregnancy. Navigate navigate postpartum parenting. I mean, it's awesome how many different categories there are. Most of mine are like self-care ones. And you you can just pull up the app and scroll through them. You can get them like sent to you like X amount of times a day. Per day. Again, I have 15. And then, like, you can go through them and you can like them. So, like, if you like them, it'll start to, like, build this algorithm that has those sort of same ones coming through or, like, like like ones coming through. So I'm going to read some of them that, uh, that are coming up on mine. This feeling will pass just like the seasons. Good reminder. I am worthy and valuable in so many ways. Nobody dictates how I feel. Only I have that privilege. And again, sometimes saying these aloud is very empowering. They're very simple. These are very simple. They're not riddles or they're not super profound. Mostly, they're very simple, but they're just so good to just have come into your phone like a positive beacon of like love and light. I'm releasing all my fears. My time for true love is coming. That's a great one. Uh, I'm allowing myself to feel all my emotions. Just like depression. I'm allowing myself to feel fucking depressed today. You know what I'm saying? I'm setting the mindset and it will go brilliantly. Brilliantly is like an English word. English people say brilliant. I am proud of the person I have become. I only give my energy to things that add to my growth. That's great. I'm restoring my emotional balance. I can take quiet time when I need it. I am in control of my life. Again, these aren't groundbreaking. They're so simple. I am loving myself unconditionally. I am confident that my difficult days will end and I will find joy again. My mind is slowing down. That's a good one, like just to chill. I choose to live in a way that will bring peace and joy to myself. I give myself compassion as I stretch, grow, and learn. I'm at peace in this moment. Each day I become a better version of myself. I mean, these are great these are fucking great. I love this app. It's so positive and so real. And you can literally cater it towards whatever mood you're in. Like I read all those categories. And I have mine on like a mix right now. So it's like all the different ones that I chose. 
I move towards situations that make my soul happy. I am letting go of all tension and stress. I am transforming into a better version of myself. Like, let's say you meditate. You can meditate on these. Just re- repeating it in your head, you know? It's so fucking dope. I am my own. I am my own. I am my own biggest supporter. I thrive in any situation. Like, again, the confidence and, like, the rejuvenation with these is so great. I know that I deserve better than this. That's a good one for those motherfuckers out there who who be fucking be hating to be taken advantage. You got to know that you're better than this. I release my shame and anger and choose self-compassion and self-love instead. That goes out to some of my family members. They carry a lot of shame around with them. I'm releasing all tension from my body. Ah, that's a good one. I see a bright future ahead. I am safe. I mean, it's, again, simple as fuck. I quote this a lot, but Jack Kerouac said, One day I will find the right words and they will be simple. I mean, these are just great. Again, this is the I am app. I space am app. I am. It's 20 bucks a year. Totally fucking worth it, okay? Spend the $20. Don't be a cheapo. And it's, you will, you will thank me because, again, it's just it's so positive. Even when you're feeling sad and lonely and all these other shit feelings, you can read this. I let go of all grudges and resentment. I am tranquil. I will take time to get away from my stressors. I just love this app. It's so good. Like, it's so good. Shout out again to my friend from work, Audrey. She really put me onto this, and it's been really helping me out a lot. So I have this app, and I have the Calm app. And in the folder I have it, it says, I am calm. <laughs> so, yeah, there you have it. That's the self-care tip of the week. Get the I am app. Check it out. I think you get it free for like a week. It's totally worth 20 fucking bucks, okay? Do it. Enjoy it. Eat pizza. All right, let's read some poetry, all right? Let's do it. Let's read some poetry, huh? Quietly shaping the hollow of the blossom, the morning sunrise. Wild rose bending and bending even more with the bee's weight. That's awesome. Over dried grass, two butterflies and a chill wind. Duck feathers on the lake shore, silent skies. Summer stillness, the play of light and shadow on the wind chimes. Excuse me. A, do- a doe's leap darkens the oyster shell road, twilight. I shake the vase, a bouquet of red roses finds its shape. That's dope. Moon and the melon cooling with us in the stream. First frost on a silver card tray, wild per- persimmons. Mm, that's cool. An icicle, the moon drifting through it. Snow by the window, paper flowers gathering dust. Thawing ice, the garbage blooming out of it. The silence of droplet of water trickles down a stone. Passing clouds on a stand of aspens is is in light. Let me read that again. Passing clouds only a stand of aspens is in light. Alone tonight, one fish ripples the lake. Deep in my notebook, a lily pad floats away. Overtaken by a single cloud and letting it pass. The blue the bluebird alights at once on the bright wet twig. Long summer day, my neighbor's bowl at it again. Letting my tongue deeper into the cool, ripe tomato. Peering out the scarecrow's ear, two glittering eyes. While we wait to do it again, the rains of spring. She leaves, warm pillow scent remaining. Twisting inland, the sea fog takes a while in the apple trees. A single tulip, hopelessly, I passed on. A poppy, a field of poppies, the hills blowing with poppies. Glimmering morning, silence unfolds all, the yucca. Across the sands, the rippling quiet, cloud shadow. A side canyon, pausing a moment, listening in its reach. Rowing downstream, red leaves swirling behind me. A small girl, the shadow stroke and stroke her. The merry-go-round as it turns shines into the trees. Look, it's clear to Saturn. Hearing cockroach feet, the midnight snowfall. 
Dead cat, open mouth, to the pouring rain. Brutal. The aging beauty, having her knee x-rayed, points her toe. (laughs) Every Sunday, the marlin leaping from father's necktie. Small child, afraid to throw away his church bulletin. That's awesome. Second husband, painting the fence, the same green. That's so fucking good. Second husband, painting the fence, the same green. I love that. Let's end on that one. So there's some quick poetry there, you know what I'm saying? Let's get on to the true blue motherfucking playlist song of the motherfucking week. Pizza. 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 Yes, pizza. Okay, so this song is by Daniel Johnston. It's called True Love Will Find You in the End. Now, he is, um, he would do these like home recordings. Like, I guess they call it bedroom something. I forget. Bedroom like music or bedroom indie or bedroom art or whatever. But he would record them in his bedroom on a tape player. And uh, shout out to my friend Chris Leba. He's the one who got me into Jan- Daniel Johnston. He's um, he suffers he he passed away a couple years ago, but he suffers with like some sort of mental illness. But he's a genius artist, you know, taps into emotion and just plays from his heart. And this song, "True Love Will Find You in the End," I'm pretty sure was on like probably a couple demos that he did. But I got it off the album called 1990, which came out in 1990. Uh, beautiful song, again written with such passion. Beautiful lyrics. He's kind of has like a shaky voice. You can tell he's he's definitely um, suffering from something with like mental illness. Um, and it's just such a beautiful song and a beautiful title. Um, I mean, true love will find you in the end. So I'm going to read you the lyrics for it. I'm going to share this on the True Blue playlist. I encourage you to listen to this. And there's even a documentary about him called The Devil and Daniel Johnston. I'm pretty sure that's the title. And it's a great documentary. Great. It explains his life and kind of his his whole vibe. Uh, Back in the day, Kurt Cobain used to wear his shirt. Um, It was Daniel Johnston's shirt. I believe it said, hi, how are you, or something, and had this little, like, alien guy on it. He would make these demos. He would draw the, like, art on it, and he would, like, he worked at McDonald's, so I think he would, like, I don't know, give it to people in their Happy Meals or something, just do these kind of random things. Uh, and th- This song is one of many that is amazing. Again, this is True Love Will Find You in the End. I'm going to read the lyrics. True love will find you in the end. You'll find out just who was your friend. Don't be sad. I know you will, but don't give up until. True love will find you in the end. This is a promise we'll, with a catch. Only if you're looking can it find you. Because true love is searching too. But how can it recognize you if you don't step out into the light, the light? Don't be sad, I know you will. Don't don't give up until true love will find you in the end. How beautiful is that? Especially when he goes, because true love is searching too. True love is searching too, okay? And when I think about this sometimes, I think about true love will find you in the end. And... For me, I feel like it's God. That's true love. When you pass away, it will find you. True love will find you in the end. But I also believe it's here on earth with with another being. You know, like it says, like, only if you're looking can it find you because true love is searching too. But how can it recognize you if you don't step out into the light? You know, get out there, show yourself. True love will find you. But yeah, so I I see it in both angles. Like true love will find you in the end, meaning like you'll eventually like meet that person that will, you know, light that flame. And then on the religious tone or on the spiritual tone, like true love will find you in the end when you ascend to heaven. That's that's how I interpret it. So there's two different meanings there, but they're both very beautiful. And I'm very happy to be sharing this. So there you go, that's session 65, right? 65? 65. I can't believe it. We're doing 65 of these motherfuckers. Anyway, I'm Zach from True Blue Podcast. Thanks for rolling with me. You guys have a great week, and I will catch up with you here next week. Peace, everybody. Right there,